Hey guys, um, just back to the boat. I uh, popped over some lunch and I had a nice delivery from CFS um, fiberglass in place. I only ordered it oh, yesterday, no, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, uh, and it was set at my neighbour's house when I got home. So I've now got my epoxy and my cabas hill and fibres just to make a nice little goo so I can fill it around the bulkheads uh, give it a bit of strength the first time doing this so it should be mm, It's not the best of stirrers in the world, but it's what I had to hand. I've used, I've run out of stirrers, I need to need to cut some more at home. Mm, it's still not filling quality. Or filling thickness. Keep banging it in I suppose. Another couple, we should do it. Got one eight. Well, I have mixed up a fair bit. Yeah, uh there -huh. we go. Should do it. Alright, let's move you in. I'm going to try not to get poxy all over my uh, camera. as fluffy as I thought it would be but um doing the job
Sticky. I need to be careful I don't get my GoPro covered in this stuff. But that one's good to go. Yep.
It's getting up filming. Bonjour, another beautiful day in Littlehampton. Um, just come back and after my first bit of epoxy and went a little bit runny when I tried to do filler yesterday, it's gone off alright. So, down here, as you can see, it's run, but it is solid. And on here, down there, absolutely solid. Now, initially, what I was thinking was I was gonna CSM all the woodwork. So it's all sort of one finish all the way around. But I don't think there's any need. It's just the epoxy's well and truly fixed it in. So I could tidy it up, um, put some nice edges on in there. Along the top there, where initially I was gonna have some CSM, I might just get a nice bit of sort of trim, uh, sort of mold, architrave type effect fit that in. Um, in between woodwork to woodwork, places like under there and yeah I'll continue the CSM that they've got around here um, just so it's in, in keeping with the rest of the boat. But the woodwork itself I'll probably just put some mouldings in the corners. Um, I'll take a my router, put a chamfer on here. Yeah, so this one we're getting somewhere. What I'm going to do this morning, just quickly, so I've got to pop out and do family things, is one of the bearers on the bed on this side, which come loose. Oh, I don't know, I've covered it yet, but I think it's this one here, that bearer there. That's uh, sort of become detached while I was tearing the beds out. So I'm going to clean this area now, reveal that bearer, uh, and just get some CSM, a bit of poly resin. Just wrap them up, make sure. I mean, the sheets themselves will keep it all tight together anyway. What you don't want is wobbly bits under beds. So I'm just going to get get it fixed in. Then I'll be nipping home and doing stuff with the with the wife and kids. But I'll just get this tidied up and I'll uh, I'll come back on. Okay, let's go. These two backs here are a bit loose, so I just peeled off the sort of loose old bits and then these fresh bits here. I'm gonna um, just re tab her down. I see there's no load bearing, nothing like that. It's just pure, just hold her in place, make sure there's annoying rattles, knocks, whatever there is when it's all put together. Another lesson learned from epoxy yesterday is a tiny little bit goes a long way. So the little squiggles I had on my, my gloves, my tripod from a GoPro was stuck together. Um, anything that got anywhere near epoxy is pretty much welded. So it's the uh, even old stuff. So I'm now going to mix up my poly resin. much I reckon probably go about 300 
pocket of fiberglass in bits and hardeners from different stuff. Alright, so 300. Um, we're going to need four. There's too much in there. Two percent for three hundred six. Something like that. Mixer up. Do list. Okay, if I turn you around, hopefully you're looking at the area ish that I'm working on. Pre-folded these to try and get that 90 degrees. I know some of them don't like bending 90 degrees, so I've sort of folded them up on themselves in the hope that it'll um, see a bit better. Which it seems to have worked. Folders.
things isn't great on my uh, earlier playing up. Staring at my leg. Seven the side of the sea for two ladies to get up before. On the ship, we do it one side, we go further up on the other side. Quite a big bit down here. CSM family stuff and now back and we're in a set it's not going anywhere a long long time again um it's had a quick hoover up uh, so everything's clean all the loose bits all the old residue just cleaned up from inside um i wasn't going to film that if you want to watch people do hoovering i'm sure there's a there's a channel for that um we're going to start from the other side. So, if, when I took her apart, I'll see there's, there's sheets that pass underneath there and slide through. So, I need to get them in, get them positioned, um, get them marked where the bearers are so I can screw accurately down. And then I'll, this, this side is easy. Um, so, I'll nip around the other side now and. Uh, We'll get that done and we'll get rid of these big sheets that are everywhere and we'll get them out of the way and we'll have chopped her up. So I'll try and remember now what side was what. It should be that side would be the messy bit. Um, ooh, that's taller than I thought. That should be the messy bit. So we put the done repairs before trying to stop leaking, but they didn't. 
managed to find out what I found. Okay, something like that should be alright. So, got a little bit here. It's messy. That's the edge that I cut. So, a small bit that will go in there once you pass underneath. Now I'm going to get the bigger bit and get uh, orientated the right way. See this was one piece and I chopped it up so I might have to put some, some bridging pieces in. Um, this one I chopped it. There's the bearers. Okay. Try not to try not to knock you over there. Oh. Turn you around so you can see. Exciting stuff. I don't want them to do this for a long time. Small bits in the way for now, and come out of the way. Just give me a free movement, a bit wobbling. Okay. Come out a lot easier than it went in. I have to feed that in from the other side. Uh, I'll leave you here while I look round and lift that up. The only trouble there in a multi hold boat is if they keep going over from you know, one side to the other. Right, and again, I'm just going over the other side to, uh, to get my pencil. Flashing, it's getting a bit flat. Mark the centers 
Um, so I'll put a straight edge, straight edge on there and then fix down. Just trying to get this little bit in. And find the, the cut edge. Yep, there. Get a good result. Pull this up to meet it and sandwich it. screw anything down yet let's go um let's go look at the other side but that's back in uh i've marked he says yep there there and there and there and there so i can draw a straight line through and fix down where it needs to be fixed once you're on the front edge here before it is just nails um, i'm gonna put screws all the way around so in the future be a lot easier than one of the first videos. I have to punch through the old nail heads here. I have to mess around. <coughs> oh, I have to mess around doing that. Okay. Do the same. No, I'm not. I'm put a small piece in first. So there's the cut edge. Oh, oh I have done. I left my pencil on the other side. Amazing. Thinking about it, I've got a marker here. Oh. Probably need the marker really to draw on all this glass. Final piece going in. Put that there, I'll be able to see it just squished in. Um, okay, cut edge. This wire comes down to the radar. Um, it's quite a 
got an old radar. Uh, so that it actually stays or not, I don't know yet. So I'm not taking nothing out there yet. I need to visit what we've got. Uh, I was in two minds about whether to uh, film me screwing some wood down. Um, but for me, it's a bit of a milestone. Um, and I thought, you know, if you watch all my other videos, subscribe and, and you know, so on, on that journey with me, then you may well appreciate the, this bit. So, well, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll record it. I'm actually going to do the other side. Um, I say I've, I've screwed the other side in. This side, nice and solid now. Um, if, if you are watching me screw this in and thinking, shut up, Spencer. I don't want to see you putting screws in. I'm, I'm doing that myself. Then uh, l let me know, and I'll not bother recording such things again. But I didn't want to miss it. This is this part semi put back together. Um, that was a, a, a lot of work to be done there still, but beds back in, there's a bit of a milestone, we're going to do the other side now. Okay, a bit more, um, a bit more screw putting in. I'm going to put this forward edge in first, make sure it's nice and, nice and flush. The old screw was uh, snapped off inside. I think this end one I managed to remove. Oh, I moved the body but not out of the piece. Beautiful.
temps à la TEF. Solid bed piece. Um, it's always contemplating getting fresh wood and yada yada yada, but there's no damage on this wood whatsoever, there's no moisture has got to it. Um, although it's covered, not, not a big fan of this. Um, but all I'm going to do is when the rest of the sanding's all done, I'll sand this as well. I will smooth over these, fill this over, any head to make sure they're sunk. And this will get painted with the rest of it. So it'll be one big, nice, solid piece. One day. We're getting there. But I'm just going to tidy up now. Um, so I was going to do some glassing. But sun's setting. I need to stop being a loser. Being on this boat all day and go see my family and beautiful day outside <laughs> 